I'm about to just give y'all all the tea on how to get brand deals. There are certain websites that you guys can use also that do all the hard work for you. As I've seen L'Oreal on there, I Lancome on there. This video is really for anybody that has any amount of followers. Wait, there's really brand deals out here that'll pay me consistently. Woke up the morning, can't remember nothing. The bitches just flowing from London. And I think I remember they calling me daddy. The matchup was covered in money. Went to sleep with my jewelry and chains on. Had to wake up and recount the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Cool with the kid, cop it. Got you. Pull up with a stick, stop it. Stop it. Rich nigga shit. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are brand new here, welcome to the tribe. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you guys can stay updated and know when I release a brand new video, okay? So um, we just gonna get straight into it. You guys are here because you wanna know how to secure and get brand deals and brand partnerships. And I know that there's a lot of people that are heavily into the, like the influencer world now. They see the opportunities that can be created by having certain brand partnerships and affiliates and all that stuff. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it because, and you know, honestly, this is something that I wanted to do for a while, but I was like, let me get my method and course outline like completely good and I know that it works. So um, now that I know that it works and I've actually been helping out a lot of other people get brand deals and partnerships, it's really a thing y'all. So. Yeah, I'm about to just give y'all all the tea on how to get brand deals, okay? All right, so if you guys see me looking down at my phone, I literally have a whole course like for you guys that I'm gonna talk about today. And also you guys can go to www.leahsafespace.com and purchase a course from me there because it's gonna have all the messages that I put to send to these brands, to send to whomever that I'm trying to do a partnership with, you'll have all the messages there that you can literally copy and paste and just send off to different brands, emails, blasts, whatever you wanna do and whatever you wanna use it for, it'll be there. All right, so step number one, I'm gonna tell y'all something, y'all probably heard this before from your mamas, from your aunties, y'all heard it. But first step of advice, closed mouths don't get fed. Now, there are some people that are fortunate enough to there's the, there's brands that will come to them, they will approach them, they will DM them, they will email them. But if you're not there just yet, it's okay. You can go to these brands and ask them to make you a partner. I've done this so many times before and sometimes they will offer money, sometimes they will offer products and you really just gotta see what you need, what you want out of the situation. If you are just starting to get brand deals or you're a person with a lower amount of followers it's okay this video is for you too this video is really for anybody that has any amount of followers um, and a lot of brands sometimes too want somebody with a lower follower count every brand wants something different so yeah closed mouths do not get fed i will say that you have to sometimes go for what you want and i need you guys to know also it takes work like i know we see a lot of the influencers or me i'm an artist we see a lot of things and people having brand deals and some people do have teams of people to do this for you and i will also give you guys a website that you can go to that kind of does the hard work for you actually you know what that's in my course i made to save that one from my course babes that want to get that i have no shame in my game i have reached out to brands via dm i've reached out to brands via email just to secure a partnership with them and it really really works so i need you to keep that in your head step two i need you guys to know that you should have in your head that no brand is too big for you i feel like i will never put myself in charge of somebody's yes or no somebody could say no we're not looking for any um brand partnerships right now or they can say yes so i just i like the feeling of going into something being like i'm gonna shoot my shot yeah it could it could be a break but it also could go in so if i know that there's a chance of that shot going in i'm gonna take it okay i'm queen shoot your shot when it comes to these brand deals and it's been working so you never also know who needs help so you don't want to put yourself in charge of somebody's yes or no so just go for it step three now i know that we all like to work with bigger brands certain brands they just like especially dream brands that you always dreamt of working with like it can be really really cool to work with them and of course you want to put that on your list of brands that you want to work with for sure but do not neglect the smaller brands like i'm gonna give you the tea y'all ask for it so i'm gonna give it the smaller brands have paid me more than a lot of these big brands that I've worked with and it's crazy. Like I never would have thought like, okay, they're gonna give me this budget. They're gonna allow me to create content freely. They're not gonna put me in a box. Like these smaller brands will really, really cater to you and the creator because if they are smaller, they kind of understand social media marketing and what it takes to be an influencer and everything. And they just, I felt more appreciated from smaller brands than the bigger ones, not gonna lie. So don't neglect those. 
Step four, I think we're on step four. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. Do not be afraid, especially if you are in the beginning stages of becoming an influencer or you want brand partnerships, don't be afraid to take product instead of payment. There's been plenty of times, even now, if it's a product that I love or something that I know that I need, I'm going to take the product instead of the payment because I know that, number one, I probably will pay for this product anyways. I might as well get it for free and promote them and also just showcase what I can do. Sometimes you can take those products that may be for free just to build up your portfolio portfolio so that way you have things to show these other bigger brands like hey i'm capable of doing this so do not be afraid to just take product i know a lot of us want ten thousand dollars a brand partnership every single time but if you are just starting out even if you're not and you just know that these are certain brands that i would pay for anyways why not just get it for free and promote them and work out a deal with them and you can always come back to them and be like hey um i'm glad that we were able to establish this relationship and do this but what about this you can always especially if you have a point of contact and you most definitely like will if you're working with um, a brand you can always go to them and pitch an idea you can always go to them and say hey I know we did this but let's try this are you guys interested in this and in my course you guys will also see that too I literally have messages on how to follow up with people what emails to send to them to like get them excited about you how to do all that y'all gonna learn it all okay so just stay here stay locked in I'm gonna teach you guys so much but also make sure you go get my course outline because it's gonna be so in-depth and like literally copy and paste messages that you can send to these brands so yeah all right step five I'm kind of gonna give it to y'all but I'm also gonna skip around it a little bit because I do want you guys to get the full course outline and I want you guys to really know in depth how to do these things I do a lot of pitching myself or I'll have like people that I work with do it for me and I'll give them the whole steps of what to say what to include in my messages what to include in my emails but there are certain websites that you guys can use also that do all the hard work for you they'll literally have you sign in to like your Instagram your TikTok your Facebook your YouTube and they'll pull all the analytics and they will show you all the brands that are like some of them are really really big brands I've seen L'Oreal on there I've seen Lancome on there i've seen um huge brands on there but i've also seen smaller brands on there and it tells you whether or not they're offering compensation uh like a pay post or they're just offering you product for you to do promotion for them like and you can really filter it out to say hey no i'm really just interested in product or hey i'm really just interested in getting paid brand deals and it will literally pitch you for these deals and if the people are interested they will come back to you and be like hey this is what we're offering this is something that we want to do and i've gotten I want to say three or four brand deals from these websites already so get the course outline because i want to teach y'all about this too because it is so just easy it's easier it takes a load off especially if you're a person that does not want to be sitting every single day sending out emails sending out um dms to people and things like that so leasafespace.com step number six okay these are the things that you need before pitching to any brand, before you DM anybody, before you send any email. You need a media kit um, or a press kit. And a lot of people do ask for that. They ask for that now, um, especially if you're emailing a big company. They're like, hey, send us your media kit, send us your rates, all that good stuff. Um, and then there's people that don't. If you are DMing somebody, they can kind of go to your page and your page really is your media kit also. So I would, that's another step in between steps make sure that your page really showcases who you are the types of brands that you want to be affiliated with they can see a clear representation of that because sometimes your page alone can be your media kit so yeah if you guys do not have a media kit you can go right now to there's an app i use all the time called fiverr f-i-v-e-r-r -R, that looks like this and I've used that for plenty. You guys can do anything on Fiverr. They have people that can make your logos for you, that can do concept art for you, that can um, do proofreading for you. They get, I said proof, proofreading for you guys. They do every single thing that you can imagine. And now that I'm mentioning that, if you guys are using Fiverr, you guys are hiring anybody to do your logos, to do graphics for you, to do a cover art, to do video work for you, to do photo shoots for you, make sure you guys also visit my website right now to go get my copyright transfer agreement. If you guys do not know what that is, check out my other video. You guys can find it in the description box below. But a copyright transfer agreement literally states that the person who did the work for you is transferring the copyright from them to you so that you now own your work. Because even if you pay somebody to do a logo you can pay somebody <clears throat> 
five hundred dollars you can pay somebody twenty dollars you can pay somebody five dollars if you do no copyright transfer agreement they still technically and legally own that logo or if you guys did a photo shoot with a photographer they legally own that photo if you guys have never done a copyright transfer agreement so go get that right now it's on sale for $8.99 leahsafespace.com it'll be there for a limited time only for that price so make sure you guys go get it okay so um yeah make sure you guys if you do need a media kit and you do need some help with that go to the app fiverr it's really really good i'll put the links below as well so you guys can just go straight to it and also if you are a hands-on person like i've done a lot of my own media kits just because i know how i like to look i know what great media kits look like being an artist i've done it for years i've seen it i've paid people to do it but i also know how to do it as well you can always go to canva canva is like my go-to app for everything you can design everything on there go to the search bar and all you do is click in media template or media kit or press kit and so many options come in there for you so all you have to do is just put your photos put your analytics and a bio and it's pretty much done i did my media kit in like a day so um and if you guys need a bio and stuff like that too there's so much technology out here for you guys like I don't want you to feel worried about not being able to do these things because with all of this AI work and everything that's happening right now you can easily find an AI app right now to type you up a bio and just write write out whatever for you like anything so make sure you guys like look into that for sure have a media kit and just always be ready and prepared for if they ask you for that you don't want to pitch to different brands and try to get these deals and they ask for it and then now you're stuck and you feel like well I don't have this so I can't pitch myself and I will say too I guess this is step number seven step seven let's get there when people are asking you to send over an email say if you dm them and they're like hey reach out to our marketing team reach out to our affiliates or brand partnership team you want to strike the iron while it's hot i'm not a person that can get an email from somebody and then wait weeks and say okay now i'm going to email them you want to be in their membrane like when they give me an email i give myself to the end of the day to send them an email and most of the time i will send them an email right then and there just to go back to the dm and be like okay email was sent thanks so much just let me know if you guys received it because you want them to remember you you don't want to take your sweet time and in my head too i'm a business owner so if i give somebody my email and i tell them to email me and they take weeks i'm like okay you're not really serious about this this is not something that you genuinely want to do and maybe you take weeks with creating the content as well like that's where my brain goes and i never want people that I work with to feel that way so anytime they give me an email definitely be on it do not take your sweet time but I'm giving you guys these tools and these little keys so you guys know how to prepare for these brand deals before you even start pitching because when they do that when they ask you to send over an email you want to do it with the quickness like time is of the essence and a lot of these brands too and you'll see as you keep reaching out to them a lot of them receive so many requests daily so if they're telling you to send it they want you to send it they want to look over your stuff and they probably really need you just as much as you you need them so keep that in mind time is of the essence don't waste it sidebar also if you guys are sending an email if they don't put specifics of like everything that they want you to send always make sure you include your media kit um your socials in there and your media kit should definitely have like your demographic and your numbers and like all that good stuff but just make sure those things are included as well even if they don't ask that should be seen just so that you want to make their life as easy as possible when they go to your email you want to make sure that you got everything there for them to be like okay let me just click here and i can find this person so and also if you are getting their email from someone via instagram feel free to say that like i say that in all my emails if there's a company or brand that says hey reach out to our pr department or marketing department um her name is sarah reach out to her and she'll help you i will say in the email that'll probably be one of the first or second sentences like hey sarah um greetings i received your email from one of your colleagues that runs the socials for brand blah 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 blah, blah and they told me to reach out to you so yeah all that good stuff but like i said that is in the course guideline you guys can see how i send exact messages to people go get it all right you guys i think we're on step eight it's homework time i'm sorry i'm gonna put y'all back in school real quick because this part is essential and before you reach out to any brands this is something that you should take like one or two days to do and it may be slightly annoying but it's okay it will guide you and help you so much so your first homework assignment I'm gonna give y'all two homework assignments because I think y'all can handle it. Some people believe that you need like a niche. I think that's the right word. Niche, niche. Some people don't have that. I feel like my niche or I need to learn how to say that word. I think it's that my niche. 
is lifestyle. I'm an artist, but my lifestyle is never the same. It's never consistently one thing. I'm doing so many things throughout the day, whether it be my music, whether it be acting, whether it be me vlogging or whatever. So my thing is my lifestyle and I like to showcase that to people and I'm always teaching people things as well. So that's kind of my thing. Um, but if you are just a makeup person, you love doing makeup, like your homework assignment for me is to, number one, if you're a lifestyle person like me, go through your day for two days, have a list of all the products that you use from the time that you wake up to the time that you go to sleep. It can be your favorite coffee that you're using. If you're wearing makeup, the makeup that you're using, the lipstick, the blush, the creams, everything. I took like... I want to say I took maybe two to three days and I still do this if I find a new product that I really really love I'll write it down on my list of the products that I like um, and that will be easy for me to promote when it comes to brand partnerships you want to align yourself with things that are within your lifestyle that are easy for you to promote because if it's a part of your everyday life it's something that you're gonna easily do anyways why not promote it and get paid for it or get free products for it so your homework assignment is to number one figure out what your niche is if you are a lifestyle babe and you just want to do content based off of your lifestyle get brand partnerships based off of the things that you use within your lifestyle awesome if you are a designated like no makeup is my thing no hair is my thing no um acting is my thing like find all of the products that align with those things and write them down like i was saying i wake up in the morning i use a certain type of toothpaste um i may be working with these people too so stay tuned <laughs> your girl reached out to them but i love toothpaste that is natural that doesn't have any crazy additives in there that does not have a poisonous label on it like i like certain clean products and i literally wrote out every single thing that i use my toothpaste my toothbrush what face cream i use what sprays i like everything so I took two to three days I wrote out all those products from the time that I wake up to in the morning to the time that I go to sleep and that gave me a clear vision of hey I'm gonna reach out to these brands because these are truly in alignment with my lifestyle so that is your homework assignment yeah y'all could do it I got faith in you and this is really honestly going to steer you in the right direction of which brands to reach out to not just reaching out to random brands and also you can have categories like sometimes I'll write it out in my notebook like all right music lifestyle and just write out products that align with those things if I see something that necessarily wasn't on my list like I love headphones I'm always using headphones as an artist but I don't have an exact brand that I've like fallen in love with just yet so I'm like let me reach out to a couple different companies I, I love headphones it's something that is a part of my lifestyle let me figure out which ones are my best or favorite ones and reach out to them for that like and then there's sometimes I'm like all right y'all know your girl is like vegan period so I find different vegan products that are just up and down my timeline that I'm like mm, that looks like it's really good mm, I keep hearing a lot of good things and feedback about this brand let me reach out to them because it aligns with them my lifestyle and the things that I like to do or have and all those good things and when I mean like categorize it know what things do not fit for you I guess let's go there step I think that's eight or nine know what does not fit within your brand know what does not fit within your lifestyle you don't want to just take random partnerships just to say that you have a partnership like that will run you dry and I feel like it's gonna be hard for you to promote pro it's gonna be hard for you to promote something that you genuinely don't like or does not align with you I'm vegan I can't I can't um, align myself with a product that says it's it's meat and we are harsh towards animal we do animal testing and like I can never align myself with that that wouldn't even make sense with my brand and wouldn't make sense with who I am more morally as a person like you have to do things that make sense not just everything you can do anything but you can't do everything that is something that I learned and y'all take that gym too so I think that was step eight let's go to step nine Oh, I forgot. This is like step 8.5. So I want you guys to not only write out a list of the brands that you are currently using that you may want to work with, but also write out like your top 10 dream brands. I'm a firm believer in manifestation, just believing in myself and believing in like if I have a dream partnership I'm gonna make it happen and I I'm a person that if I write something down I feel like oh my god I'm making it real and I see it every day it's becoming more and more of a reality so if you know that you're the brand that you want to work with so badly is Fenty Beauty write that down have a list of your goal brands as well and it'll also keep you in alignment too with like okay if I was creating 
an ad for Fenty, how would that look? Let me do it with these brands that offer me um, product or offer me a smaller budget. Let me create something that I would see for Fenty. That way you kind of work your way into that. You're working yourself into that realm of things that you want to do. And you, when you do get that dream partnership, I promise you it's going to feel so good and you're going to be so sharp and ready for it because you've already done these other partnerships that help you get there. So write out your favorite dream partnerships too. Like I said, step number two, always have in your head, no brand is too big for you. Okay? None of them. All right, y'all, this is for real step nine. This one more or so is just like a mental note. And as an artist, as an influencer, as an artist with influence, all of that stuff, like consistency is the most important thing, okay? Things get hard sometimes, life gets hard, and at the end of the day, you still have to push through. The only way out is through, you have to be consistent. Influencers, artists, it's a job. It's not something, I know a lot of people make things look very easy, make it look very good, like it's quick, like it's like nothing to do. But being an artist, being an influencer is a job. It is hard work, um, it takes effort. So don't just wake up one day and be like, whoa, why didn't these people reach back out to me? Why didn't they hit me up? Why, why are people not responding back to me? Like, don't get alarmed or afraid if people don't hit you back right away. That's okay, it's normal. I have reached out to brands sometimes and they've gotten back to me like weeks later, months later because they get a lot of requests, like a lot of them. So don't be offended, don't feel like, oh my God, they're not reaching out to me, I'm never gonna get a brand deal. If you send 10 out right now, I guarantee you at least one or two of them is gonna respond back and be like, hey, what are your rates? Hey, can we give you some product in exchange for promotion? Like, stay consistent, keep fighting, keep running the race. I promise you it's going to be worth it. I'm just now starting to really get in my bag of like, wait, there's really brand deals out here that'll pay me consistently. Like, and I like long-term partnerships. I always pitch that within my messages as well. Like, I one-offs are cool but I like a long-term thing more. And I just genuinely feel like if I'm showcasing a product consistently, my following and my fans are like, well, she really, really must really like this product. So she shows it off consistently, especially if it's a part of my lifestyle already. It's so easy for me to do because it's something I'm using already daily. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. Yes, stay consistent, keep going. Don't put yourself in charge of somebody's yes or no because somebody gonna say yes to you. Promise you that. Oh, also, don't forget to go the extra mile like it is okay if it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more work like there's been times where i've pitched certain things to certain brands and i will put together an entire proposal for them like this is my vision for your brand this is something that i feel like i can create for you guys with some really great high quality content and it would look like this i have put vision boards inside of emails before just so that the brand can get a dose of me and sometimes you have to showcase and bring your vision to light for them before you even get to them so that they can get excited about your idea but it's a proposal that i did and i cater to that brand so much to where when I spoke to the owner of the brand he was like Leah like your vision was so beautiful was so grand it was this and it was just like yes because I also dream very big I'm not that type of person that likes to do what everybody else is doing I don't like to be comfortable I like to dream and go there and I want people to get excited about my visions and my ideas and my dreams and it's just like that's what it's giving over here. So don't be afraid to go the extra mile. Do a vision board if you feel like you want to communicate a certain idea for them. That's really, really cool. Don't give too much away to where they can kind of like take your idea and run with it. But you can do a vision board of just like or a mood board of different looks that you feel like you want to create or the vibe of the photos or content that you're going to create for that brand. So yeah, go the extra mile. It'll only help you out. I promise you, even if it takes a little bit more time. Okay, y'all. So I know a lot of the, the peoples out there want to know about how to establish paid partnerships. Now, here's the ting on that. There will be some brands that just want to offer you product and there are also brands that will offer you a budget. We love budgets over here. Budgets are great, so we love that for us. But there is also certain verbiage that I make sure that I always use when I send out any DMs, when I send out any emails that you guys can go get right now. Um, you could, you can get the whole copy paste thing I told y'all, leahsafespace.com. But I use keywords like partnership instead of collaboration. I felt like I did a lot of testing out when it comes to brand partnerships. And a lot of the times when I was using the word collaborations, 
it was giving more so from the brand like okay we're gonna collab and i'm gonna send you products and that's it when i say partnership it kind of made it more legitimate like no we are partners you guys are going to be compensating me for the content that you need or that you're asking for or that i'm going to provide for you so it's just certain little things like that changing the word collaboration to partnership um and just saying that you want to work with them and give them high quality content and blah 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 like all those things matter so definitely change and shift around your verbiage a little bit if you are sending messages to these people like hey i want to collab with you no you don't girl you want to get paid okay you want to get paid and ain't nothing wrong with that okay because we all got bills that part step number 10 i think um no one wants to pay for bad content I have shot in, is that a word? I've shot a lot of my content right on my phone. I still have yet to really invest in like a really, really good camera. I feel like I want to and I'm about to, but you have to care about your content. Make sure that your, your videos look high quality. We all have iPhones right now that damn near look like a professional camera. A lot of my content, a lot of people think that I've had a whole camera production thing, but no, I just got a light. Um, and a great camera and I know how to use it so invest in your content the quality of it and when I say invest it's not even all the way financial like invest in learning about how to use what you have a lot of youtubers and vloggers and stuff I know did not have a professional camera into like probably a year or two after they were all using their phone and take advantage of it if you are using this phone to call to text and everything this you can use for business as well i have shot so many vlogs on my phone and people would never know so um study content that you like also i feel like that will help you with content creation you don't want to steal somebody's idea that's that to me is like be original um but also like study how people do certain shots like there are millions of youtube videos right now that show you how to create a certain transition that show you what apps use to create um really really dope content and a lot of these apps now like i use CapCut. i love CapCut you depending on the video they will develop a whole video for you and all you have to do is just literally take your videos and put them inside of a template and it will develop the content for you so there's so many ways to develop content just make sure that you are caring about it you want to think like a business would think instead of just a content creator and you trying to get paid from these brands think like what would i as a business owner want to see a person creating content for my brand what do i want that to look like and flip it create that content do it i got faith in you do it make sure it looks good make sure it's something that you can be proud of and something that you feel good turning in like i've never turned in any content that i was like uh i don't know like obviously i'm a nitpicker and i'm a perfectionist so i always want to be better and better and better but i'm always turning in something that i can stand behind that i'm proud of that i'm like yeah i did that so invest in your content especially if you're getting paid for it i as a business owner will be so mad if i paid for content from somebody that looks like that they did not put any effort into it any care like you don't want that all right step number 11. if you know that you are investing more time more um quality more better products into your videos it is so okay to ask for more money and it is so okay to turn down things because there is no budget i'm learning that right now i reached out to a company they offered me a certain number and i in return in a very respectful professional way said hey can we just up the price to this and you know what they said they said yes <sighs> okay so you never know even with that do not put yourself in charge of somebody's yes or no and don't be afraid to ask is there a budget for content creation literally that is it but if you don't say that a lot of the times these companies of course they'll oh we'll give you a product and you just promote but that's your time that's your energy that is that's a lot that goes into content creation when i tell you guys this is a job it is a job like for real for real so don't be afraid to ask for a certain price don't be afraid to say hey this is um this is my standard rate this is what i like to do um don't be afraid because a lot of the times they have the budget for these things and they will say yes some people will be like no this is what we're comfortable with but a lot of the times they will say yes and even i'm not gonna lie y'all some people have offered me lower money but it has been consistent i told you i like long-term partnerships and then if we're doing something long-term after i do that first video and you guys can see what i do 
I have no problem with asking for more money because it's like y'all see y'all see the results y'all see that the people was liking how I do my content and my videos and they're buying the things like I just posted let me show y'all an ad I just posted for this amazing brand called the Ambrosia Collective that I love here we go y'all help me unbox one of my favorite brands ever good morning if you have never heard of Ambrosia Collective, get into it. First of all, the merch fire. Secondly, they sent me some of my favorite products, like this probiotic that's good for the stomach health. They even sent your girl protein powders and flavors, okay? When I tell you it is so rare to have a vegan protein plant powder that's good, these fire. Before going to my workout, I had to prepare my protein shake. I put three scoops up in there and I even took some pre-workout and now it's time to get it. I did like a good solid hour in the gym. I don't know if it's just me, but when I know I got a protein shake waiting for me at the end, it just made me get through my workout quicker. I was hyped. Don't judge me. And that's exactly how y'all gonna feel when y'all get y'all protein shake too. Thank you so much to the Ambrosia Collective for sending me this amazing planta protein powder and pre-workout because it's got the body doing what it's supposed to do. Okay? Bye! So yeah, y'all, that was the ad that I made and I was very happy with it. Like, I, I love it. And they see, like, the engagement. I had somebody purchase that same day. One of my trainers that purchased some of their protein plant powder, he just posted it on Instagram. Like, they see the engagement is real. And um, just ask for what you want. That was another company. I just slid in their DMs and I was like, hey, like, I genuinely love you guys. I use your plant protein all the time. Can we please work together? And it worked out for your girl because um i get the products and i love them and i also get to make content for them and we have a really cool partnership so don't be afraid to ask for what you want also i guess this is like a step 11.5 or 12. do not forget to follow up it is important yes to land a brand deal but it is also very important to like follow up with them especially like i have a list of all the brands that pay that is very important. I'll give you guys a sneak preview of like one of the emails that I sent out to revisit a conversation with a paying brand that had paid me before. Um, and like I said, a lot of these brands have so many people reaching out to them all the time. Even if you end on the note of like the brand saying to you, hey, we'll reach out to you for future opportunities. Maybe you reach out to them for future opportunities and for future bags, okay? This is an email that I sent over to a brand that I had worked with. I love working with them. They sent me my money on time. They sent me the products on time. It was great and I genuinely love the products. But I was like, you know what? I haven't heard from them in a little bit. So let me send them out an email. And this is the email that I sent out. And we now have another partnership. Like they're sending me new products. And also I went up in the price as well because they were able to see what I was able to do. So then now it's just like, all right, cool. Now we in it, we locked in and I made that step and I took initiative and was like, you know what? They didn't reach out to me, but I love working with them. So I'm gonna reach out to them. Don't be afraid to do that. I've done that with so many brands and yeah, it works. So don't be afraid. That follow-up is everything. And in all honesty too, that's really how I got my KISS partnership. I am a KISS ambassador and I also, I'm wearing their lashes right now, okay? These are the new falsies that they sent me and I actually really, really love them. Um, they sent me, sorry, I'm distracted, y'all. <laughs> they send me products monthly. Any new drop that they have, they send it over to me. But I went to a KISS event that I was just like, you know what? I go to places with intention all the time. And I know that I've been using their products, I feel like since I was a kid, I've always loved KISS products. So I literally went to an event of theirs. I met their people. I came there looking the part. I came there looking like, oh no, I'm leaving here with the partnership. And as soon as I left that event, every single person that I met, I sent a DM to, hey, it was so great to meet you. Would love to do some work with you guys in the future. I got one of their reps um, telephone numbers, sent her a text like, hey, I would love to work with you if there's anything I could ever do please let me know they hired me like I want to say three weeks later and it was such a great experience but that would have never happened if I was like you know what I'm just gonna wait for them to reach out to me and they have my information they'll reach out to me when they need me no I didn't give no space or wiggle room for anybody to forget me I was like nope lock me in got the numbers got their um, social medias have it written out and I actually I, I gotta I gotta hit them back because I feel like I want to do some more stuff with them but I ended up doing a full day of content and work with them that was amazing I'll insert that clip too so you guys can see Lash Couture the Muses collection is inspired by the popular royal court aesthetic 
Each lash is handmade with innovative and refined faux silk lash fibers, created the softest and most comfortable lash to date. They are designed with an elegant, soft layered finish, creating a flawless royal look truly fit for a queen. Here I'm going to show you how to flawlessly apply these lashes. So first I'm going to apply this style in no blast. You will want to trim the lash to fit your eye shape. It's the perfect fit. If it wasn't, I would go back and trim a couple hairs from the outer corner. Next, take the Kiss Lash Couture Strip Lash Adhesive and apply it to the band of the lash. Be sure to let it dry. This will take around 30 seconds. Now you simply apply the lash to your natural lash line, completing your regal look. The Style Noblest is quintessentially elegant, featuring beautiful soft layers and tapered ends with a wispy finish perfect for day or night. Next up is the Style Legacy, the perfect accoutrement to elevate your beauty look. With the delicate crisscross lash pattern, these lashes provide density while also giving exceptional separation at the tips, providing a look that is truly timeless. Bringing more drama, Style Empress is majestically decadent. These lashes have a rounded shape for an enhanced doe-eyed effect. So yeah, this partnership life, it's a real thing, um, but it does take work but it is not impossible to do. And you can really live it up and have a good time doing these things because it's something that really is like genuine towards you. It's so much easier to do reviews, to do product placements and brand partnerships when you love the products that you're using. So stay true to you, stay true to who you are and it'll be so easy for you, I promise. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I think I got all the steps. If I didn't, feel free to check out my course outline on how to get brand partnerships right now. Head over to www.leahsafespace.com, okay? I love you guys so much. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. If you have any questions below, feel free to like, just write them and I will respond back either in another video or down in the comment section below. Love you guys so much. All the things that I mentioned can be found in my description box as well. The five her app, um, the Canva app, um, my course outline, the copyright transfer agreement that I told you guys about. Everything can be found in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. Like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I love you guys. Bye.